Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Miss Maroon here, and I, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to do just a quick little mini um, Sephora haul. This is my bag, it's really small, and yeah, I actually only bought two of the things that are in this bag, and then the rest were like, like I have two things I got from Sephora Rewards, and then I have a couple other things that uh, my mom got from like a long com rewards thing at Macy's and she gave to me because she knows I like this type of stuff more than she does. So she's like, oh, here. And I said, oh, well, if, if you insist, I'll take it. But, yeah. So it's just quick and it's mini. I need to get a video up this week. Um, I have actually been sick in bed since Wednesday. Wednesday was the first day I got sick and then I was in bed and I like, couldn't get up until Saturday and then Saturday like I went out to Bell Square and I got some stuff and then but while I was there like my mom was shopping around and I had to go and <laughs> sit at a couch that was like in the waiting room for the bathroom at Macy's because I was gonna throw up and I just I knew it and stuff. I, di I didn't actually end up throwing up but it was not pretty and yeah so I've just been a little um, out of sorts the past couple days, you can say. Um, so, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm just starting to get back into the world of the living. My heavens. Okay, I'm going to take out the long calm stuff so I can do it separately. I'm going to start off with. Here, this is what I. This is actually what I went into Sephora to get for the most part and stuff, which is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, the mattifying one. Um, I just filmed, <laughs> I filmed the first impression of this and the other big thing in this bag this morning. Um, so, yeah, I won't say much about this, but, hey. So, I got this video, this video, I got this primer, and that's the main reason why I went into Sephora, because I was, I was about to run out of my sucky um, primer. It was the NYX Shine Killer and I was like okay I need a primer and I need it to actually work because I am tired of wasting my money on stupid primers that don't actually work. So I went for this one because I've heard it's like the best. So yeah. And then the other thing I got because I've been wanting this for so long. Like I talked about this. Anyways, so I've been wanting this for so long, and I talked about this um, in the first impression video I filmed of this, which that will be coming up in a couple weeks, three or four weeks, I think. Anyway, so um, I got the Tarte Tartlet palette, and I love this palette so much, guys. Like, I'm sorry, I can't hold it in. Spoiler alert for that uh, first impressions video. I love this palette. <laughs> it's so beautiful and I don't know how to handle myself and I'm just I'm gonna swatch just a few things from you for you so this is best friend you know it's this like nice cool tone purple <laughs> oh my gosh then this color I swatched it yesterday because I was like wait what what type are you so this is power player and it kind of looks like it's this gray color but when you swatch it you get like this gray blue purple kind of feel and it's really cool it's like different than any other eyeshadow I have because first of all I don't really have gray eyeshadow no I think I have like one or two um, so this one is so different from anything else I have it's so pretty um, what else am I gonna watch for you here I'll, I'll do bombshell and I'll do one more swatch and then we'll be done with the swatches. Oh my heavens, look at Bombshell. It's like, oh, oh, in your face, purple. And then this one, which is just, oh, this is gonna be a baby for me. This is Caregiver. And I feel like this color is what Urban Decay was trying to achieve with their 
um, eyeshadow um, walk of shame, but they couldn't quite get it. But this is perfect. It's like <sighs> this beautiful muted baby doll pink. But so good. So I'm so happy I got this and so excited I got this. And then with these. Sorry, I have stuff on my fingers. One second. Okay, now that I don't have that stuff on my fingers anymore, I can work. So, with these two things, uh, it was nice because Sephora has their point system, and I knew I had like a hundred something points, but they add on the points that you get from your purchase at that time, and then it adds on to the points you already had, so that uh, when I got up there and stuff, because normally, because I just had like a hundred something points, I would have only been able to get one thing. For like one little prize, but because I ha because of buying these two things and adding those points onto the previous points, I had like 200 something points, and I was able to get two of the little samples, so that was pretty cool for me. So I picked out Elizabeth and James Nirvana, for, it's the white one, and I had thought about buying this a couple of months ago, and then when I went into Sephora and was smelling it, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like the smell too much and also it was hard to tell because it was so blended in with all the other scents around me and I don't know I wasn't really feeling it so I didn't get it and then I saw that I could get it for free and I'm like okay might as well just get it and try it out I love the Olsons my buddies I actually was almost named after Ashley Olson fun fact but then that didn't happen because I had a cousin that was born like a month before me and her parents named her Ashley and spelled it the exact same way and I already had a cousin on my other side of my family named Ashley so my parents were like okay we can't have three Ashleys that's too much so I'm Jessie but anyways so I got the white one and I tried it out this morning and I really like the scent I like how it's in rollerball form because I've heard that rollerball actually sticks on your skin better and it's nice because I don't know, I feel like I can restrain myself a little bit more with this, but yeah, it's really nice. It's very like florally, but not like in your face, like, <sighs> and it's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's like, it's a nice, I think it's a very like modest feminine scent, if that makes sense, you know? It's not like girly, but it's not masculine. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. Um... On this side it says, you go, uh, you get something, um, peony musk. So, yeah, so it has peony in it, and something else in it, and, yeah, so I really like it. I've been wearing it all day, and I think it smells pretty, pretty good. And then the other thing I got, and I kind of just got this because I wasn't going to just buy anything else on the counter that they had for display, and I was like, Okay, so <laughs> I just got it because I saw it was skin here, and I'm like, okay, I like skin here. And this is the Cora's, 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 I don't know, Black Pine Firming, Lifting, and Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream for all skin types. And I'm pretty sure Miranda Kerr started this. I only know that because I think her fashion is pretty on point. So this is what it looks like. Let's, let's look at this. If I can open it. So, this is just a little skincare item with black pine. I'll probably do a first impressions with this, because let's get real here, I do first impressions with everything. So. <laughs> Open! Oh, it's white. I was expecting it to be black. It's white. So it looks like a white cream. That just, I guess, runs in this. And I guess you just put this on at night, like maybe a moisturizer in. Yeah, so I thought it would be interesting. I don't know. I just picked it up. I like skincare. Then, 
at Lungcom and Macy's, they were doing the thing where like if you spend thirty five dollars, then you get this whole bag and all this shebang and um, yeah. So got the bag. My mom has the bag. I think we gave the mascara that it came with to my sister because I don't like the mascara. I think it's not good at all. Um, but you know. And then I kept the. No, you keep that. No. So then what I got is the Lancome Tonique Radiance. Um, and this is a clarifying, exfoliating toner for normal combination skin. It's blue. It has a pop-up lid in this. Ooh, this feels like a full size to me. So I guess it's just a toner. Probably put it on like a wipe and then put it all over your face. I don't know. I've never been too impressed by Lancome skincare or anything Lancome, but you know, I'll give it a try. I like testing out free products. That's my shebang. And I have this um, cream radiance. Um, it's a clarifying cream to foam cleanser. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I like cream to foam. So this is probably to take off your makeup. So I'll give this a try. And this is again a full size, which that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it can be used to just clean your skin or take off makeup, so I'm interested to try this out. It sounds like it could be very luxurious for the skin. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm pumped. I will keep you guys updated on how those do. And then the final thing I got from Lancome is I got another Beyond Fae Multivital Night Eye Cream. And I have one of these already from another, like, spend X amount of money and you get this in return that my mom did. And I love it. It was in my favorites video. And so when I saw I could get this again, I was like, yes! Because I'm starting to get to, like, the final bit. I mean, obviously, I have a ton left because it's an eye cream and it, it holds up. It lasts for a long time, but I was like starting to get nervous, so I thought I would just get another one just so I'll be set for like another year and a half <laughs> with my eye creams. And um, yeah, that's all I got. Like I said, it's very small, very minimal what I got, and I actually only bought two of the things, so I'm feeling pretty good about this haul. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed and saw some interesting things that are at Sephora and Longcom. I don't know. And I will see you guys next week. I'm planning on doing a review of the U.S. Phantom of the Opera Tour. Um, that's what I was going to do for this week, but I was sick, so I kind of didn't film it, and that's going to take a longer amount of time. So, yeah, I will film that this week and upload it. Anyways, um, I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. <gasps> Goodbye!